Alright guys, and welcome to part 3 of the OEB modding series. How to make a mod. Right, this episode, we will start the timer. There we go. <coughs> As I said, we're going to try and get it in game. Well, not try, we are going to get it in game. The uh, best way of building the mod test in XML is to use ones that already exist. So, I've downloaded the Big M, it's currently on FSUK, and we're going to steal this mod desk. As you can see, pretty simple. So all we do is drag it out of the zip, leave that in the zip, jobs are good. Right, open her up, and obviously we need to change this lot. Control F, replace. We can have a space in that one, so we're good. YouTube trailer, there we go. Replace, 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 replace. Yes. Done. So, I come file name. We're going to need to figure that out. These are pictures of it, but we can't do anything with that yet. However, that will give us an error. So, back into the zip. A good way of doing this is to copy this as well. By copying that over, we now have a right size picture. But it is saved wrong, I believe. It should be DTX5 or DXT5. Let's just double check on the giant stuff themselves. Yeah, DXT5, look. Look, 512 by 512. It's smaller. <laughs> <laughs> it does come out in the shop alright so I'm happy with it but you get more detail off these ones See, modding is constantly a learning process so for now she's going to appear like a Bergman Bye -bye. Always learning new tricks and that. See, I missed it when I did the big M. It's not an error, just an improvement. Right, we don't need that. Come on. There we go. Tip that up there. Specs. Right. Now, the way to work out a trailer is. Well, the best way, I can't remember where I got these files from, uh, Google Drive, but it's the store category, store items, and vehicle types. I think they were on Mod Hoster really early on in FS15. But either way, not you, these are all the categories you've got. I'm going to link these files in the description. Store items, this is what we're after. And then you get your vehicle. Come on, load up. Vehicle types as well. This is for when you're doing your own specialisations because you have to add in all these and then you put your extra ones in. But we're looking for the brand there. And it's there. So we'll just copy that. There we go. See the difference there? Store item, store items. You can put as many store item sections in between the store items. So you can have multiple mods reading off the same mod desk, like the MR did for the vehicle pack. Pack in 13. I'll change that again. Really? What did I get wrong? There we go. <coughs> Right then, specs for a trailer. We'll leave this as it is for now. Function tipper. Well, this all appears in the store. This doesn't actually do anything to the mod. So that'll tell you how much you can carry, that's what it can carry, and that's the written part. You can write 
anything you want in there. So um made on YouTube. There we go. That will now appear in the star when we get there. Image active is going to be this one. And we don't yet have a brand name, so we'll go get one of those as well. Hmm. Anyone will do. I believe they're all the same. DTX3, 512, 256. 256128 ah, so they changed them all, it doesn't really matter. So are these changed as well or are these all five twelves? I think these are all five twelves. Uh header. Yeah, they're all five twelves. It's just these that change. Uh we'll take the Nope, not you. That's Google Drive. That one. And copy that, well select it all, paste over it, job done. See there's no file path here because it's all in the same folder as the mod desk. And we've got the XML file name. Obviously we've not made the XML yet, that's coming shortly. Right then. So yes, because we've not edited any of this yet. Having a talk on the EC. I could probably change that now actually. Make our lives easier. There we go, there we go. I wonder what brand name I actually used for the big M. Brand was she a crown? Yes. I'll have to go and pull out the uh, OAB weight. If I can find it somewhere. There she had in there she is. Brand OAB, that's the one I'm after. Is that right? 25665 is even smaller. <laughs> yes, move you. That's going to get. No, I can leave it as OEB, I suppose. Uh, you need to change that. There we go. Pop that back up. So, start is now a YouTube trailer. Ta da! Also, we don't have a picture of it yet, so I can't add anything more to that. When we do get it in game, or maybe even in the uh, GE, we'll take a picture of it and then add it to that image. Brand OEB. Brand OEB. She's a tipper. Now this is a good bit. This is the diable part. The first part. It begins in the mod desk. <coughs> but I think I'm going to do the diable and the washable in the next video. And we'll make that the last one. Hopefully. So that's not too bad. Maybe come up to about two hours worth and we've got a trailer in game. Done. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> it may go wrong yet. Right, so that is the mod desk. Yeah, done. That was easy, wasn't it? A little too easy. But yeah, mod desk sorted. Right then. This is back in Giant's own folders. Trailers. 
front there. I want this XML. Yeah, copy it. Just not going to call ours. Where are you? YouTube trailer XML. Okay. without the capitals on right so we'll pop that up and now we get to work through everything this is where it gets fun right so we have the brantner up, we have ours up we're going to need the brantner i3d Um, not ours just yet. Oh, but there's a good example of what the brand uses though. That's its diffuse. Then it's got a normal, a specular, and yeah, fancy bits. The decals basically. Not too worried about those. But all we really need then is the i3D. Uh, our shapes file is not separate though. But Giants does that of its own free will. Your XML, see what I mean about the diffuse? The white part for the diable. But I'll get to that. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five files plus a mod desk done. <laughs> Until we get onto the washable, there's other bits to come yet. Because this, if we pop this open in there, you see it's got a lot of other things that are in different places. But we'll patch those in shortly. Right then, the best you can do here is start at the beginning and work your way through. Same as we did with the mod desk. Oh, you bet. It is a trailer. This is the part where you change the mod desk to put your own specializations in. You put whatever name you want in there. That would match. I've deleted it now, haven't I? It was the part I deleted, which said Big M. You put whatever name you want in there. That name has to match it, then it will read those specializations. That is default, so it will read the default game's trailer specializations. this particular part is what some of the mods read to identify it on screen and then the file here of the i3d that is probably still called untitled yes It's well untitled. Um, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that slowly. <laughs> right then, so we're about the same size as the Brantner, so we can leave that alone. The wheels, again, about the same size as the Brantner. I am going to use these wheels, so we're good. We don't need wheel chocks, because I'm not played about with those. So all we have then is the wheels. You know, the nodes representing them, we have to put those in. We've got all this to figure out in a bit. Hmm. Or should we do it at the same time? Oh, pardon me. Yeah. We'll literally do it step by step then. So, wheels, dynamic loaded parts. This is your wheels. These are what represents in your i3D. Your drive node, because it had the wheel chocks on, it doesn't anymore gone, radius is the size initial compression, uh, that's to do with the weight and the springs, how it sits on the springs and you get suspension travel I've just been reading modding for dummies, I can't remember the definitions of these now nope, it's gone it's all to do with springs. It helps with grip though, I found. You fiddle about with these settings. The lateral and longitudinal stiffness. There are two other parts that appear in here. They help with the friction and grip. But we will now disappear into the brand there and pull out the wheels. The dynamic loaded parts, this actually points to in-game stuff I can show you. 
I see file path data vehicles wheels. So back to vehicles, wheels, trail bugs, and here are all the trail bug wheels you can play about with and link to using the dynamically loaded parts. <clears throat> we know which ones we're having so we don't need to mess around trying to figure it out. Shock my voice is going, I've got a bit of a call coming on. Right, so into here. Wheel left, wheel right. He's not zeroed. Ah, oh, he is. Right, remember not to save this i3D. Now the important part here is the blue. Blue points forwards, has to point forwards. See? Blue forwards, blue forwards, blue forwards. So I can actually scrap that. Scrap that. Not interested in it. Just remember, do not save. <laughs> it will all go to wrong if you save. Alright, we want the wheels. So, file, export selection, not into the train. Where are you? There we go. And we'll pop them in there. And we'll save those as wheels. Now, the attacher joint. Now, to attach this to a tractor, because it's a trailer, the red one points backwards. Now this is the next one, the trailer attacher joint is the attacher you'd find on a tractor. The red points away into whatever is attaching. Like male and female. But we do need the attacher joint, so we'll take that as well. Export a selection. Well, we see it, and I was talking about it, so let's go into ours now. Then, we'll resave it. desk again. Oh no, it's here, isn't it? I don't think. No, no capitals this time. So yeah, YouTube trailer. Good. Alright. Ta-da, where are you? Right, trailer collision. This is going to be the main thing. Everything else is going in there. And you see, I got it wrong. Because my trailer points the wrong way. This seems to be a very common occurrence for me. Oh well. I'm a locking bar and the back door need to go into the body but then we can zero them and I'll sit happily there done, done right, this however and that are going to have to spin and the centre of mass is really not in the right place. Oh, that just sucks. <laughs> oh well. Zero, zero, zero. See, so we can't figure this out. Is that a zero? No, it's not. 
that has to be zeroed no excuses that needs to be zeroed I'll leave it on for now because I've got to position this thing inside it as best we can anyway I'm so hopeful I got that right oh well good news is I can actually put that in the same place as this so control shift and C copies all three values if you're in translate copies M if you click on rotate copies M scale copies M and then control shift and V haha <laughs> we're back I didn't actually make any I don't RAM for it either oops oh well And now we find out it's going to have to come further back. Look, what have we got to do here? Locking bar. Oh dear. Control Z. Close. There we go. So we're on the Z minus 206. Minus 2.06. There. Now it's built. As you can see, the blue now pointing the right direction oh dear don't you just love it when a plan comes together right we need to knock rigid bodies off on everything but that main one as well and the main one has to be dynamic Compound collision uh, mass of one ton for now. Oh, cool. Shape non renderable. So I click over there. There we go. Our little trailer. <coughs> <coughs> right, save that. Now then, import the wheels. And these are going to go wrong as soon as we move them into the body, probably. Not going into the body though, and they're going into the trailer collision. Yes, they are. So they may be alright. <laughs> they're alright though. Cool. Alright then, wheel left. Lower him down. You have to position these again later on. Properly. So this is just rough for now. So we'll get it in game, find out where the wheels actually appear. does have them on the right side of the trailer too I find that they normally appear underneath there so if we put these lower better chance of having the axle sitting in the middle of the wheel right then so copy them control shift copy put exactly the same ones into this for now and then on the X assume everything's lined up right he does it why and that happens yep cool my name needs to nip in a bit more though x992 there we go right then we have wheels They are in the wrong place though. And I've noticed this keeps going funny. It used to work back in 2013, back on the old editor. Uh, you basically control X that, click there, and repaste. And you see the body? Oh no, it's worked this time. I think. I'm sure the body was above chassis. Yeah, but it has been swapping things around. So you have to keep your eye on that, especially when you're doing a lot. The we were building a livestock trailer of late and we had like 30 animals you cut and paste them we had them all numbered out and you went through it again and everything was in the wrong place so that took a while fiddling that one out but at least we spotted it in time because i'm pretty sure the script requires them all to be laid out properly right then 
back in here wheels done assuming they're the right way around let's just check that again <coughs> wheel left then wheel right wheel left wheel right yes job done so wheels done brake force capacity lights sorry about that guys had a little uh, exploit issue my hotkeys were getting in the way anyway wait, wait, wait. lights right lights we're going to worry about that in the next episode so we'll comment that out yeah hotkeys sorted now <clears throat> and we'll move on to fill volumes now the fill heights respond to the particle systems we don't need the left or the right because we're only tipping out the back so we're going to scrap those and we're going to scrap those I believe that's how the shader tipping varies I think I believe so anyway <laughs> I might be completely wrong but that's what I'm thinking for now so we don't need attached joints either because that's what it uses to attach the trailer on the back we don't want that tip reference points we only need two no we only need the one yeah we only need the one right then so let's go get our fill volume I did get a little bit further than I was hoping to get so we're going to have to go back a bit yeah I went further than I thought and I, before I realised what expert had done so we'll import that in this has gone wrong I imported <laughs> instead of exporting export the selection so yes but that means we do get the high nodes which is the next part they were here that needs to go away and all I did to find those was follow that 0500060 for the fill volume 0500060 can you see yeah you can look this is how the shader tipping works it fills up this area when you make your own you have to make sure the top and the bottom are perfectly parallel otherwise it'll either crash your game or just will not work in game it's weird and wonderful like that anyway back here we can now import the game planes and it also has to be called fill volume or we'll throw an error up <coughs> right, the problem we're going to have with it is it's pointing the wrong way same as everything is because I screwed up the model in blender Alright, so we'll try and get that in the middle. That looks pretty in the middle. I think we're good. Maybe do it raising up just a little bit, but I'll worry about that in a bit. Alright then, the fill volume. Scale this to fit. Nine, nope, got no. Nope, nope. Five, nope. Four. Three, nope. All right, I always go for a tiny bit of overlap here. We've not got it there. We've not got it there. So th that's too small. Four, five, six, nine. Nope, we'll have to go five. We have to go six. All right, a little bit of overlap. Still miles off. <coughs> That's translation. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Zero point nine four. It was nine three a second ago. I'm getting tired. Put a 
two on there, see how that helps us. Yeah, gives us the bit we need, look. Overlapped beautifully. Right then, X. Point one is far too much. Yes. So zero five. Zero six. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right, the trick now, up here, edit, freeze transformations, scale, preserve instances, boom. That's the only thing now, it locks it down to 111. It saves having to take it back in a blender and rebuild it. But to do that, all you would do is export this as it is, get it in blender, set the scale in blender to 0 0.01 on all three axes, and you'll have that size in Blender, so then you make your new one, no you don't even need to do that then just tick Control and A and lock it down then bring it back in right then, so the fill volume is 0, 0.220 0. let's go add that to here oh, we have not started the timer again and no way does it say how long I've been recording so I'll just start the timer as is Yeah, it's down now though. Probably about a minute or so. Or two, give or take. Uh, whenever I have one problem, it always seems to scale into more. You can never just have one on its own. Oh well. That's life, I suppose. Right then, fill volume heights. Now I already have some of these, but I don't know which ones. Which ones do I have? 0, 011 or oh. 0, 011. Right, we have those. The reference nodes. Now I don't need to be in you, I need to be in the other one. I guess we now need to pull these and pop them in there. And we're going to grab that and just to center them. And obviously, we're going to have to do the spin thing again. And we're going to make sure it's right at the bottom. And at the back roughly about where she's going to tip from right then, so the details now are 230 and 231 230 231 right, now these nodes Five triple zero five two oh five two one particles left right back there we go so these are the ones we need export I'll put it in fill again import fill there we go control X draw it in the body again See, everything has to be in the body that's attached to the body, because the body is going to tip. So if you put it in the chassis or in the trailer collision, it's going to stay there and it's going to look wrong. But I think that's looking pretty good. Apart from it's pointing the wrong way. And we're down on the side, so it's going to be a zero when it needs to be at that. Took it up against that as well. Yeah, but at least it's in the middle now. Let's spin it. There we go. 
say about that see it's always important with the blue points because if I left that point in this way it would tip the other way around I suppose we could have just rotated them but they look like they're happy zeroed <coughs> alright so save it again back in here now we need to make a note of this 240241 so if I go there shift alt and you can jump straight down the line control copy there we go Four oh four one. That's coming along nicely. Right, cylinder, fill sound. See, it's got the dollar sign in, so this is pointing into the default. Happy days. Input attacher joints. Now we haven't got the attacher in there yet, but we will have shortly. Import attacher. Control X. Throw him in there. Close that down for a minute. Now, remember what I said about this. The attacher has to have the red part pointing into it because this is the female. The only challenge is matching it up to that. And why are you funny? X is zero, thank you. Can I aim for right in the middle? We probably could have done with it a little bit this way. We'll try that, see how he gets on. See if he's too far over the trail or crab. Alright, so the attacher joint is 04. Easy enough. Tip reference points. 522. Oh, wrong one. 5. Double two, double two. Yep, hidden on the floor, look, so we'll have him. Export selection, put it in fill again. Import tip reference node. The good thing about this is you get the right names as well. I'm not sure about ah, which way does this have to point? Ah, that's pointing forwards already look. Because we're not in the body, which works nicely. But he's way too far back. Ah, but in the brand huh? Yeah. See how much lower their origin is? That's going to be where the centre of mass is without any modification. So ours is a lot higher. Is it just me or is our trailer collision gone nuts? It has, hasn't it? Oh, that's frustrating. <laughs> So I'm going to have to move everything up a bit. That's about right. Body, you are now on that. Draw copy. Chassis, you get to move to the same point. Control V, 44. So what's that? 54, 64, 70, just under 300. 385. Yeah, I'll just do it this way. So zero point zero eight, that's easy enough to do. Body chassis attach a joint that has to now move up as well. Tip reference node. We never got around to moving that.
Now that should do us. Tip reference note zero 05. Ta da! Right then. Tip animations. Now the effect node is the actual particle system built into the game. This one at that location. The link node is the one we're after. 520, and I believe we've already dealt with them. Look, they're there. 520 is the left node index on the volume height. So we're looking for 240. It's handy having the original still up. So this one is now that one. There you go. Do, do, do. Yes, yes. Fill volume discharge info. Now, what's this? Five triple oh eight two. Five triple oh eight two. I believe this is where it starts disappearing from on the shader tipping. I think it's another of a modifier for shader tipping. But we'll take the lot this time. Because it's got a transform group. <coughs> and if you notice, it's also back in the body. So a transform group's gonna help us put it move it around. Control X. Pop it in there. Well we don't need that. And we don't need that. But we do need that. I want to spin this 180. Alright, so let's just go have a look where there's are. Ah, that's where it starts tipping from. Yeah, so that's at the front. Red pointing forwards. Ah. Yeah, so it is to do with shader tipping. Twelve twelve. What did I just put that on? I have no idea. I put it on something. <laughs> I just don't know what. <laughs> uh, you? No, you're alright. No, you're okay. No idea. You're all the way back there. It doesn't matter. You're just a transform group. You're the one that matters. Should I probably move that somewhere safer? Yeah. Red pointing forwards, move him to the front. Jumps good. Right, two five oh. We're making progress. See, then you've got all your animations and your moving bits to do. There's more to come. Right, so the fill root node is zero. We've got that exact fill root node, zero six. Ooh. Look at that. 
and it's on the top. We'll have that. And this is not actually going in the body either. It's a rigid body, so I don't want to wipe it out really to rescale it, so I'll just leave it for now. It's close enough, I'm happy with that. Right, zero six. Ah, that works. Fill auto aim target is zero seven. Drawback collision. Yeah, not worried about you. I've noticed this drawback collision actually causes problems, especially with the in game stuff, because they can't make the turning angles, the trailer end up pushing them. Uh, for me, I'd sooner have the drawback go into the tire a bit if it makes it, helps the track to make the corner. Right, each to their own there. If you want to put the collision on, you export it, you put it on, or make your own. <coughs> yeah, it is a pain in the ass to do though. You have to actually open the i3D in Notepad++ and you change whatever the collision is to compound child equals true. That's it. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Easily, anyway, now because I've closed it down. That's the problem. There, it's there. Vehicles, trailers, brand there. Right at the bottom. There you go. <coughs> there, see, that says kinematic true, compound true. You just select all that and you put in compound child equals true. That's how you make collisions for things in Giants Editor beyond the first component. like for doing a build trail your main collision would be the base then you'd have the front and the back you'd have to make the front and the back compound child which is that compound child equals true all the way on target node did we explore that already or not no, I can't remember no we didn't so we'll delete that and we'll go get that Might have to call this quit soon, guys. Oh, my voice is going. <coughs> uh, that is sat nicely in the middle of the trailer. There we go. Zero seven. Auto aim. That's for forage wagon, not forage wagons. Forage harvesters with a spout that hunts down trailers, that's what it's hunting for. That makes sense now. And it is in 07. Cool. Right, fruit types. Moving tools. <sighs> yeah, this is where it gets daft. These are all the animations for making it move. Well, we don't need tipping left. We don't need tipping right. And we don't need a support wheel. All we need is the back. We don't have a support animation. Washable, not yet. Colonards, not yet. This is the second part of making it colourable in store. Right then. That's another little thing there. Uh, I believe that one and we can write the next two lines off like that because we don't have a trailer to attach that's 
down at the bottom right of the screen you have a picture of a tractor and every time you put a trailer on you get that little square block well that second line I've just deleted is that little square block going behind this trailer but we don't need it what we do need to figure out is the tip animation for the back and it's actually quite easy isn't it brand of is 05 uh, for back tipping we are on the x axis really you're not tipping that what was it triple zero oh the dawn the body yes now it makes sense so the door opens first, well, I suppose so. Five triple zero, but you want the door back, which is four. Moving power reference points, oh that's for the rams and stuff, five one. Just find out what it is, five one. Door left. <coughs> five two. No, well off. Yeah, that's your RAM. Wow, oh, five two though, that's important. Where was it? Oh no, because that's not in the body, is it? Yeah, it is. I'm sure I just read 5 2 somewhere. Hmm, maybe not. Either way, that's the door, that's the body, and that's the particle system. So it doesn't curve underneath when you start tipping up. Hmm. So 5 1 and 5 1 0. Five one. Five, I suppose we're gonna nick theirs. But I'm not too bothered about that. You have to start attaching it in various places then. <coughs> See dependent parts, dependent parts. Triple zero one is a moving tool. What's triple zero one then? The door left. Why is that a moving tool? Decals. Maybe? I honestly don't know. Door back. Four zeros. Is that a moving tool? No. Hmm. Really isn't. Five triple zero is though. Which is that? I'm not sure why that's a moving tool. Moving tools are only for moving collisions and such like hmm well we'll leave it in we don't have any dependent parts well we do but they're gonna move anyway hmm well no because that's the cylinder underneath that's the cylinder underneath uh, where's our body Oh there, that was easy. O2. Moving tool, done. Triple zero, and triple zero one, triple zero two, there are side doors that we don't need. 
moving part that is actually the cylinder itself isn't it yes oh I wonder if that's got uh, something fancy doing that I don't honestly know hmm oh well I'm pretty sure we don't need any moving parts pretty sure zero zero three and four three and four they're springs then uh, cool little addition but not good to us but we'll see how we get on right then moving tools zero two our animation here we go the door is not the part that moves first our locking bar is the part that moves first and it is two zero. End time four no. End time one. Starting rotation zeroed. End drop on the X of forty five. See what that does then. Oh god no. Ninety nope. 130, 40, 180, no, 180 don't look right. 170, that's better. 170 then. 170, there's the door and the body. So I'll put that back to zero. Otherwise, when you first buy it in game, that's what it'll look. Right, the body itself then. I'm pretty sure I didn't do that intentionally, but that's actually worked out quite well. Alright, we need the 180 on the Y, otherwise it's going to bugger it. That needs to stay at 180. If that stays zero, it'll basically spin it round straight away, which would suck. <laughs> what should I do? Well, I can do the body now. Right, X forty five. Yeah, that works. What your numbers? Zero two? Yeah, zero two. And then this is the particles. But we actually need a door as well, don't we? is on again there we go caps lock off right locking bar door let's do the door 2 1 pin to the bottom crap this is when I went back into blender and messed around sorting out the unwrap hmm I'll just have a little talk because we're going to have to go back in a blender to fix that. It's frustrating. But it's only a minor problem. There we go. Alright. Door. Set origin 3D cursor. If you remember, we did actually do this then. RX, now it works. Draw eyes to make sure. Pop giants, every day exporter. And you see, we did rename it. <coughs> so we're good. File, import, untitled, backdoor. 
control X now it's using the body V so that coin long-winded way of doing it but I ain't risking getting everything messed up now we've got too much in here right. see if we can stick this to it Focus a minute, so I've gone quiet. Yep, I'm up with that. All right, then our door will now work again. Save that file, reset the blender out good the other back door needs to be deleted this one needs to lose its rigid body all right we're back in business how far does the Brantner door lean then oh, it goes 45 ah but that's the end time look oh yeah we'll leave it about then it tips out well just make sure the tip is gonna go the right way first. Forty five eh, eh. minus forty five. Right. Minus forty five. What was the time on that? Four. I'm going to put that to 7. Alright, then we've got the particles. 5 triple O, 5 2 O. 5 triple O, 5 2 O. Effect node, yes. Particles back. So particles back the fight node two four oh. Right, that should be good. Should be. Uh, let's just go check it. Yep, that's it. Because obviously the trailer's going to go up, so that's going to end up being level. Right, we're good. Save, save, and in theory, this mod will now work and be viable in game. Let's go test that theory. So, open up the FS15, go into the mods, we'll copy this for now, paste her in, and launch the game. Head on down to the arm home. And testing mods, it always helps to have very little in your mods folder. The couple that I had there, I know have no errors in them because I've been playing about with them. They're a nice stable place at the minute. But coming to a default map is also a damn good idea. No, every time go away, carriage. Sell everything. Then into the shop. We need that. No pack. Dippers. There he is. Ah. Never took that out. <coughs> Still the default colour. That could uh, be weird. 
and we seem to have lost a wheel. <laughs> oh dear, why have we lost a wheel? There's also no collision on the front, so the drawbar's disappeared. Ooh. 252. Ah, because he was on the thing before. Right, I'll save that. Missed a bit of the wheel. Quit. Quit. Back in here. Link that. Up. There we go. Not quite sure why two five two has been stupid though. What have we missed? Volume discharge info. Two five two. Two five oh. Right, so we delete that version. This is the only problem when you're working with copying it because you have to keep copying it. But till we get it in game. We're not calling it quits just yet, even though we are now over an hour. Sorry about that. But it may be a couple of days before I actually finish this series, because when we voice go in, <coughs> it's just no fun. There we go. We now have wheels. Obviously, they're instantly dirty, because the washable is not active but as you can see we do have collision it's extremely shiny but all of that gets taken out with various other bits we're going to put in now, can we connect to it or not probably not because it's underground but you never know no it's too far underground to uh, appear right So, oh, just all F4, it doesn't matter. We need a collision. Well, we can borrow a collision from here. We just have to find out where the support is. There he is. Got him. And he will have a collision. That looks like that. So, file, export selection, put it on fill. Back into ours, file, import, fill, troll X, put him in the main collision. <coughs> now he is obviously the static, and we can change his shape. Nice. But I don't suppose it really matters. There you go. Just pop him under there like that, and he's happy. Uh, we're scaling down actually. And we use that trick again with freeze transformations. So it makes him more happy again. Alright then. In theory, we have it. Cracked. So I'll delete that one again. Hopefully, we're good. Just pop the log as well and tested that, but oh well. Ooh, not that one, this one. This is where mod testing can get annoying, especially on a slower computer, because you're always jumping in and out of game. Now, my system's not bad, it gets there pretty quick. But there's no mods in the mods folder here, and it's still not as fast as I'd like. But the plus side is that trailer is now useless. Because it was uh, the collision's there, but it's now buried underground, it wasn't coming back up. But there you go. Now, sat on a collision, quite happily, above the ground, we have a trailer. Let's knock those off. So now we should also be able to pick it up. There we go. 
but I haven't put it in a trailer low. Uh, no, oh, disconnect. There we go. Save game. What I need to do now, I'll actually do this in here, it's easy enough. No, no, don't start cutting corners. <laughs> That's when it goes wrong. Trailer low. I'm sure that's what it goes in as. Sure, it's not 100% positive though. We need to find a trailer that goes in the low hitch. Big Flegel. Flegel Dolly. That I need the XML of. There you go. Trailer low. Don't need that. So, minimize you. Mods. Delete you again. Copy. I said before this episode was done, we'll get it in game and working. It's not working yet. But we're getting there. trailer for a walk you see it's catching now on the support collision so it's still gonna do that pushing thing I was talking about it locks it's the arms of the tractor but we can make this a bit easier by resetting them both It's not perfect this little trailer, there's definite room for improvement with it, <coughs> but it does show off the basics. See we've got the dust particles coming off the wheels as well, but the important part, does it fill? Apparently not. So what have we got wrong there? Right then, pop the log. Warning. <coughs> Overlapping, click distance. Raw formats. But nothing major that says that shouldn't fill. Right, we've got something else missed. Quick game, quick, quick, quick. Pop the log. Hmm. Right, the raw format we can easily solve by actually serving that as a DDS, but Blender doesn't like it. I'm going to have to go back in Blender, so I'm not going to do that just yet. Overlapping rotation parts. Hmm, don't see how. Oh. Well. Well, clip distance is easy to sort anyway. Done. <laughs> Simple as that. Right, overlapping rotation parts. Shouldn't be. Really shouldn't be. Alright guys, sorry about that. Uh, it's been 24 hours. <laughs> uh, at the end of the last part there was actually another 6 minutes or so of me messing around and I had to call it quits. It was a simple mistake. But at least the time is right now. What I'd got wrong was the collision. Mask. It was still reading FF. Now if I change that to FF but I don't click anything it goes back I'm sure I changed that somewhere in the mid video but what you have to do so copy that one 
But I mean, you have to hit return to lock it. Oh, it doesn't lock it. But that's the reason it wouldn't fill. Hit the return, it's fine. So, let's go back in the game and test it now. Yeah, that had me baffled for ages. I'm sure we did that collision mask earlier on. I've pulled out all the other mods out of the mod folder as well. And I have a theory on why the rotating bars aren't playing nice. But I wanted to get it filling first. Come on, let us out. There we go. Yeah, I even brought out this one just to make sure there wasn't something wrong with the game. Well, we can scrap that one now. Watch it sell the one we actually want. Nope, we're good. There you go. Our button start filling. I even filled it by altering the vehicle XML to see if it'd tip. Wouldn't tip either. So that collision max in the main collision, component zero, is very important. But as you can see, shade of tipping works, even though it is a little high. So we're going to have to adjust the box. <coughs> There was it no mod, so no drive control, so we've got no four wheel drive option. We've just got to drag it. But I have discovered that with uh, me scrubbing up the build and having it backwards, everything's a little backwards. <laughs> Which explains the rotating parts not being happy texture, I've actually moved the texture now and it's still causing an issue. So farm zip 15 hunts down any dodgy textures in your zip file and throws up an error because it's not calling that texture at the minute. But yeah, problem with the tipping. So we'll just hold F4 we'll run away. That's fine, I even rebuilt the body. So, well, I didn't rebuild it, I reorganised the origin. So it's right in the middle now, instead of on the locking bar where it was. But the problem we're having now is we do need to move the, uh, what is it, don't we? Fill volume. Yeah, it's too high, look. Oops. I think it's just a little bit lower than that. There, I'm happy with that. Right, the problem we have, <laughs> that's the nature, whoa. Ah, log's back. <laughs> yeah, see, I moved it all. It's now in a blend folder. It's still pulling it out. But we're done with you, done with that. Done with that. I was playing with a Fleetwood Bull to compare as well. That's actually one. <laughs> totally got the DAR wrong. See? DAR 2 1. That went the wrong way. The DAR, don't know what that's going to do yet. That went the wrong way. So we'll test that a lot and see what happens now. Hopefully this is going to work, otherwise it's back in a blender again. Turn everything around the way it should be. I'm sure I had it right this time. This seems to be a recurring problem, so it may be something actually with blender that you can only sort once you get into i3d. Ah, uh, you're back. Save the game. Alright then. Filling is good. There's a little bit of height to it as well, which is nice. Actually, it's not sticking up above the sides now, which is cool, like that. So we're good on the filling. So we'll get around here and then we'll hit save unless we've got it bang on. The 
ring's maybe a bit too big there. Oop, stop, 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 stop. Right, moment of truth. We will save anyway. Now we've got something in the trailer. I'd say we've got that pretty good. But that's still going the wrong way. But it's not complaining anymore. <laughs> a locking bar is going to be a douche. We are having problem with our particles because they are not going in the right place. Oh well, all I thought. Right, locking bar, where are you? You little zit. Right, the body points to the back. The locking bar points to the back. So yeah, that should be plus then. Oh, because we had it double, yeah, oops. And then we need to move the tip particles, didn't we? Too far on, too far one. Well, that's quite easy to do. Like that. Nah. Good news is, after 24 hours, I am feeling a little better. I think it was just a, a one day cold. Come on, there we go. Right then, that's better, but the particles aren't moving with the heap at all. Well that's annoying, but I have a theory on that as well. Uh, this one I did the f no, what did I do that on? No. I played on it with something. Oh no, don't do this, I should move. Yeah, it should move, but it didn't move. Why didn't it move? Have we got something scaled? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, at least it's in the right place. We just need to have it move. It's supposed to go on the trans axis, and one should equal one meter, I believe. Okay, let's try three. Me and the e are very good friends at the minute. not moving at all. Hmm. Another curious thing. Why? Alright, for this one we're gonna go play with the fecal bull. Because it's a bigger body. And with the tips from a higher point so there's more movement. That, double click that, right then. Hmm. Six two four oh. Two four two. 
See coming out the grain dart, it's not supposed to move. But oh, we have different scales. I'm not very much. I'm not affecting the y axis. Transmax. Ah. Bye bye. Transmax must limit it then. So let's put that back down to one and see what it does now. As far as I know, the little brand on the bottom hatch pardon me, opens, so there's not much that it needs to move. So that Transmax would have really limited it. This then should. There we go. From the top, all the way to the bottom, you beauty. And she closes up again. Door closes, locking bar goes up. Happy days. Yes, we know all about the silos. Let's just go test out some uh, root crop then. Yeah, collision has definitely made our lives easier. That collision mask was the problem. Picks up potatoes, lovely. Love the shade of tipping. There's plenty of different sites to play about with in the XML. Really makes life uh, entertaining. Like I said, yesterday there was a good few more minutes before I gave up. I was just too tired, my brain failed. Right then. Locking bar goes. Potatoes start dropping. Look at that. <laughs> Perfect. Right then. I believe discharge start time at 2. Yeah, let's fiddle about with that. As soon as the door opens, it should start popping. Locking bar start time 0. Door opens at point 1. As soon as the door opens, then. That should start tipping. Always looks weird to me when the door opens and nothing happens. But this could be a problem now that the particle system comes through the door. Hmm. Like that. Now I wonder if there's a way to put keyframes in there, like some of the other animations that aren't on this particular trailer anymore. Hmm. I must try that two. Around the two seconds, put it at point two, and that's not going to work, is it? Four. Keyframes might work here. Yeah. Keyframes work, they can make the dart wobble. That would be cool. But in the last well, episode 5 is going to be about doing the washable skin and finishing the texturing, so we have to get this part sorted now. And it still comes through the dart. Probably why it's left on what it's left on then. Hmm. Well, there's nothing we can do about that then, so Z, 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 Z,
which is quite a thick dart, so if we can stop it going through it, I'll be happy. I said, with tip waggons at work, as soon as you crack that back door, product starts coming out and it actually pushes the door away. Unless I can put key frames on that. Nah. It's gonna be two seconds. Has to be two seconds. Unless we can figure out the key frames. And the best way to do that is to actually go. Yes, but where? I have uh, recently discovered that I have not actually uninstalled Farm Simulator 13. See, it's here. Trailers, good old Gilbert. This is what I mean by keyframes. It may or may not work. Moving tools, no, I can't do anything. Start time, end time, yeah. Oh, there's your time. Hmm. What's the other thing? Uh, script documentation. There. But I don't know what the heck it'd be under. Maybe fillable. No, because it's moving tools. Animated vehicle. There we go. Current time, current speed. Start time, duration, end time, start right end right. It's not looking like it, is it? No. Yeah, it's not quite that detailed. So we are stuck. Hmm. Yeah, we can't put a middle in. Oh well. Leaving it at two then is the best option. Yeah, just start time, duration and end time. It's not actively looking for anything else. Oh well. Yeah, if it was looking for key times, we could maybe got away with it, but it's not. And with the length of this video now, it's uh, not really worth trying it. So we'll put that back to two and suck it up, basically. It looks cool ish. The limitations are still there, though. There are extensions to scripts you can write, but that's beyond me for now. We'll get there. Do, however, too far. What are you? To ah, oh, yeah, to do that. Not like that. Six. Woo, 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 woo. I want to put that to seven because I want it to actually hit full tip before it's empty. And if we put that up to eleven. I just like seeing a trailer hit the top before it's completely empty. Otherwise, instead of only getting halfway. I suppose another test is that's testing this with cosplay, but I can't see why it will work now. We've got it working this way. Right then. Locking bar. Door. Starts to tip. 
still come through the damn door. <laughs> I don't need to actually go further. I'm going to put the door on 50. Some of the doors are actually weighted as well, so they do go further. The hitch, instead of being where ours is, right in the middle, the door is actually put, or the hint hitch is actually put on the outside, the back of the door, so when you open the door, it swings further out. I'm still clipping it up. That looks better. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Jobs are good. Another sneaky way would be to move that height thing. I think it starts emptying from the front. Hmm. She empties from the front look. And really, she should empty from the back. Which one was it? Fill volume height nodes, I believe. No. Discharge nodes. There we go. This might cure the problem. sure this is the one that does what I'm thinking anyway. Right then. Ah! Got ya. Yeah. Can't really win with this, can we? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll put it back and just suck it up. Edit. Undo, get my cover there. I suppose I could try it around here somewhere, but yeah, 1 minute 15, so I'll end this one there, guys. I'm happy with the way it's working. It's little bits, but we're limited. So, we'll get with the as default as possible. Jobs are good. She's sat quite happily in the mods folder now. Next episode, we'll come back and I'll show you how to make a normal file in Blender. Hopefully, it's going to work. If it doesn't, we're going to take it into Crazy Bump. So we'll catch you all then guys, laters.